Perfide que tu es, je vois bien là la preuve de ton imposture. Go away, stranger, or I'll grind you into dust! She's giving birth to her first son. You really know business here. Come on, out, out! Come to me, Amon, and save me in this tragic year. For the innocent one has been condemned. His name is hated. His son is as an orphan, whilst the guilty one sleeps in peace. But Amon lends an ear to he who is distressed, and does not accept the bribe of the guilty. Amon restores courage to the innocent, and lets the son avenge his father. He has decreed that the gods help to establish the truth, and punish the guilty. Their images, drawn by my hand, will reveal to you the name of he who has committed the abomination of the gods. They shall be there in each place you go. Contemplate them and give thanks to Amon, whose goodness fills the entire earth. His, His enemies, enemies shall, shall thus, thus be, destroyed be destroyed by my by venom, venom and the innocent favored at Horus's side in the palace, the Cobra. 
Three days separate me from the great festival of Opet in the city of cities where the king, who is life, health, and strength, is awaited. Three days to find the guilty parties and to prove the innocence of my father, Merriman, the cobra. This mysterious messenger encourages he who takes heed of his warning and wishes to restore the order of destiny. This task is henceforth mine. The authorization issued by To, first of the king's dignitaries, shall open the gates of the valley protected by the summit. It is at the scene destroyed by evil spirits that Montumes, chief of police, awaits me. Open my ears to truth and recognize iniquity. Present! Pendua! He was stung by a scorpion, and he is in bed with a violent fever. Ached! Present! For the workmen of the right-hand side, Amanacht! Here! Kenop! Here! Hakaru! He's working in the Temple of Hathor for the ten-day period. Hori! Hori! Didn't he warn anyone of his departure, or mention the reasons for his absence? Nobody knows anything! Neferen Pet! Here I am! The roll call is completed for today. I'm giving you the roll call list, Ramose. The unexplained absences must be cleared up. Hail to you, Lord of Justice. I have come, my Lord, that you may lead me, so that I may see your perfection, for I know you. I know your name, and that of the forty-two assessors who are with you in the Hall of Justice. I shall not fall under your knives. You will not present my fault to that God whom you represent. You will tell the truth about me in the presence of the great God, since I labored for good whilst I was on earth. Your voice is true, and you are admitted to my kingdom, despite the great crime of which you have made yourself an accomplice. I allow you, by this dream, to speak to the one who was the victim of this injustice. The God of the Dead allows me to speak to you in a dream, Ramose. Depending on the places in which you carry out your investigation, always contemplate the gods with a careful eye. It will be profitable to you. My discoveries in the embalmer's workshop proved to me their complicity with the robbers. I mingled with the funeral procession to discover the final destination of the booty hidden among the furniture. I thus arrive in the courtyard of a nobleman's tomb where the ceremony of farewell to the mummy is to be held. The ritual opening of the entrance is about to begin so that the deceased may once again profit from his mind and body in his eternal resting place. My father may not have such an opportunity. My purification is the purification of Horus. My purification is the purification of thought. The widow holding the sarcophagus in her arms is still weeping her sorrow. Me. 
Is that your will that I withdraw from you? You, who like to joke with me. You are silent, you speak no more. You are now in the land which loves solitude. There you are imprisoned, swathed, bound up, and you sleep in yesterday's linen. Go to join your new residence in peace. Come in peace, Eye of Horus, blazing like ray on the horizon. Hail to you, Amon Ray. My two arms hold you like those of Horus. I am the living servant of Ray, the pure priest. The clay is broken, the river flood is delivered. It is to establish the God in his place that I am come. Be established in your sanctuary, Amon Ray. The incense comes, the divine perfume comes. The perfume rises up to you, Amon Ray. Horus and Thought give the paint to your twin faces, and the band of cloth to your body. The green and black paint are offerings they make to you. Myrrh, incense circulating in your tabernacle. I have come to you. It is I, Thought, bearing Matt, that she might be with you. Awake and be at peace. Awaken in peace, O venerable one of the two lands. Thirty days later, after the return of Ammon into his sanctuary, I was given a distinction by Pharaoh. Long may he live, be prosperous and healthy. I received the golden reward and was promoted to scribe of the troops in his majesty's army. Thanks be to Ammon, who guided Ramose on the path of truth. His ingenuity enabled him to foil the treacherous schemes of my husband and his cunning ally. No one was disturbed, and my father's position is intact, protected by royal favor. Tanafer paid with his life for our attempt to discredit To and the first servant of Amon. But the time of our vengeance will come, and the king shall not escape it. To henceforth exercises his functions over Upper and Lower Egypt. This heavy burden will keep him even further from the realities of our region. We may well expect other affairs of this kind, and I fear that the dissatisfaction of the men of the tomb may push them one day to stop working. <laughs> 